so Farley has torn his ACL. He was running in the sand on a walk, and he pulled up lame, and he tore his ACL. The poor puppy. Uh, so it's not an uncommon injury amongst larger breeds, uh, but it's it's uh, it's obviously got to be fixed. And so it's <laughs> he's due for surgery, and it's not cheap surgery, but. <laughs> Leading into the surgery, we had to get some. Uh, we had to get all the tests and stuff, yeah, which we're just kind of in the process of now. Uh, but one of the things that they needed was a urine sample, and uh, so they asked us to, to, to get a urine sample. Now, have you ever gotten a urine sample from your dog before? It requires certain finesse, and well, it was more of an adventure than we'd originally planned. So Shan is gone looking for. Uh rubber gloves. I've got the dog here. There he is right there. And we're gonna go tag team the collection of this urine sample. What could go wrong? I'm really super nervous. He's nervous too. He's not gonna perform. <laughs> Performance anxiety? Is that a thing? No, no, stay away from the cat. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. So we'll keep you abreast of the developments with Farley as he goes through the, 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 the surgery and then ultimately his, his recovery. Now, it's been really an adventure for me delivering this vlog over the last couple of weeks. Uh, kind of learning the process, getting a little bit more comfortable with the entire process. I appreciate so much the feedback and the encouragement that you folks have been giving us in the comments, uh, helping me craft what you like and what you don't like about the vlog. Please keep that up. This is a this is an iterative process. Yeah, you tell me what you like, what you think you want to see more of, what you want to see less of, what's working, what's not working. 
and I will endeavor to uh, in, endeavor to incorporate that in the vlog, and we can build it into something that's I hope something quite special. Now, newest discovery this week is I'm still filming the entire vlog on uh, iPhones, and we're going to do that as long until I kind of can't do it anymore. Now, I'm not certain that this vlog requires the kind of amount of B-roll that we've been doing, the amount of field shooting, but I'm enjoying learning about it and figuring it out. And it's a complete voyage of discovery for me. I've never done anything like this before. But the software that I'm using, which is Filmic Pro on the iPhone to record all of my, to record everything actually that we're doing on the vlog, that piece of software, which is by the way available in all platforms, has a companion app which allows you to slave one iPhone to another iPhone and actually control a, uh, a recording phone with a another phone. So what I've got is I've got it set up here. So actually, I'm running an app right now on this iPhone, which is controlling that iPhone that you're watching this on. And I can adjust everything from focus to, well, all the controls. This is a live view of what's happening, including access to all the controls. So I can pull focus, I can, I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can do all sorts of things. Let's, let's, let's change something here. Let's, let's change the focus. Let's put me out of, out of focus if I can. I'm gonna put me out of focus. There I am, am I out of focus now? I pull it and then put it back into focus. There we go. So that's kind of, Oh, now, okay, because of something I did there. There we go, see? <laughs> ah, it's awesome sauce. All these controls, and it's the total software, the total bill for both pieces of software, the remote software and, uh, and, and uh, Filmic Pro for me was, I think about $40 total all in Canadian. So it's like $7.22 US or something ridiculous like that. No, it's not quite that, it's like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Uh, but an amazing, an amazing discovery, and really going to help us in in the in the creation and the development of the vlog. The other big change that we're making this week is this is probably going to be the first vlog that we publish using a better piece of editing software. I hoped when I started the vlog that I could use the same software that I use for my screencasting, which is ScreenFlow on the Mac. It's just really simple to use video editor that we use for all of our screencasts. It integrates with the camera and all our devices and it works like a, it, it's a great piece of screencasting software. We've built our YouTube community on ScreenFlow, but I, it's, it's not up to the task. It's not up to what we need for creating a vlog like this. There's just a lot of little things, how it processes, how much color control we have over the color, the, the, the kind of the subtleties that we want uh, to start to incorporate in the vlog, we're already pushing it. Plus, just the editing process. It doesn't render the video quite as easily and make it as easy to edit, especially with the large video files that we're producing for this. So we had to make a decision. We had to decide to use one of the big boys, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro from Apple, something along that line. And I chose uh, Final Cut Pro. Not because I think Final Cut Pro is gonna be the best app, but they just the feature set that it had, including the ability to work offline so that I can work on planes and that sort of stuff, uh, tipped uh, in favor of that. Plus the fact that I live on Mac, so it's optimized for the Mac and the rendering and stuff is gonna be a little bit faster on the Mac. So it just ended up being the decision that we made. If I'd been mainly a Windows user, I think I would have chosen Premiere, uh, to be perfectly honest, but since I'm mainly on the Mac, we're choosing Final Cut Pro. And we're also, evolving the editing process, putting the entire vlog together because I'm doing rough cuts uh, where I basically build the narrative and then I'm shipping the entire file off to Liz who's doing color correction and cleaning it up and, and, and adding a little bit all, all the graphics and, and those sorts of elements to it. Some of the music is gonna be incorporated at that point. So, so it's, a, it's a tag team process. So we're hoping that it's gonna work in Final Cut Pro. We'll see, we'll let you know as we go along. Uh, and so that's really it. I really encourage you, please remember to subscribe to this channel uh, if you haven't yet subscribed and, and let us know. The biggest favor that I can ask right now is let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of in the, in, in the vlog. What's working for you, what's not working for you. Help me, help us craft this into something special. I think it's gonna, I think, uh, well, I don't think, I know that, uh, that jointly we can do a far better job than just me deciding exactly what's gonna be in it by myself. So until next time, have fun storming a castle.